that you know the truth, what will you do? The blood of Flothander. I, I am not proficient. So let's see what it does. Uh, here. Um, the Thunder's Blessing. Once per long rest, when your hit points are reduced to zero, you gain 2 to 12 hit points. Allies within 9 meter also regain 1 to 6 hit points. Sets holy light in a 6 meter radius in combat. Fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded unless they succeed a constitution saving throw. Can't afford to stay idle. So she can do that, right? Sunbeam. So I'll give her that. So we'll go with this. Actually, right. what I want to do is... Alright, this one is fine. Indolence breeds madness. Alright. Blood. No. So let's never mind. We'll take another Welcome short rest. rest. We'll take another short rest. The gods are watching me. I'll probably like once I level up, I'll probably do another round of like uh the respect. You know. Don't do it. Heat pulses out of the astral prism as it begins to flower. Timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold, a pocket of astral plane. Boundless, timeless, like every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come, we will talk in private. Just the two of us. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki, but you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? You misunderstand. The Zaethisk was going to kill you. I couldn't let that happen. <sighs> it is the very least of Queen Blackith's deceptions. Let's try that. That was uncalled for. Though... A spell well cast. <laughs> I suppose I can't blame you. You are threatened by the tadpole and you think I prevented you from being cured. Very well. 
See for yourself. The palace of memories opens up to you, separated into segments. Within one segment, you see it. The truth, exactly as the figure said. She saved your life. All right. The Gith Yankee had no intention of letting you survive purification, and I had no intention of letting you die. And now that you know the truth, what will you do? It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Okay. Lakith will be furious, to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. All right. Godlike in power, yes. But with none of the sanctity. Vlakith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the really? Elithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist illithid control, which Vlakith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. A logical question. But you're not ready for the answer. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. I hope you are ready to face Blackith's wrath. The entire Kresh stands ready to kill you in her name. Good luck. Speak. Have you killed my Queen's enemy? Blackith does not lie to her faithful. Open your mind. Show me. Your mind tingles. Lysel seeks entrance. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. Blackith Tafkinazin. I see only... only madness. Blackith bears the full might of Tunarath's arms and the covenant of the Great Mother Gith. Skvar! We are leaving this place now. Alright. And how will we do that? Oh, here. I'm glad you came to your senses. Now leave, before the others come for us. All right. We failed to extract the Mind Flayer Parasite. We made an enemy of Queen Vlathigd. So that's fine. Okay, find the blood of Latander. That's done. All right. So can I, I guess I can't fast travel, maybe I can fast travel if I go back here, right, the secret entrance. Yeah, I can, right? And we are out. Okay, so 
now let's go and do a short long rest I'm sure we will need it and Lazal I think you will have to it's a neutral right? you will have to stay home for a while we are gonna so I want to switch dagger she can have some other dagger I guess right she can have some and we will have Astarian join our party Lizelle mm. I am Vlacket's most loyal servant. She will not abandon me. Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less, though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. All right. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. A favorable change by any estimation. <laughs> Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. The queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Go on then. My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kalir had a hundred times circled Turil. Survival. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. <laughs> they underestimated me, so they paid the price. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. All right. Chuck, you believe you can survive with as you say. The sooner we get out of this Gith Warren, the better. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Uh, why is always... Yeah, we will hide for him. That, right. So let's go ahead and level him up. Darling. Still breathing. Despite it's everything. It's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. Alright. So before I do that, let me see. So I guess he is only available for light armor, huh? Level 7. Gained a spell. 
evasion. Your agility lets you dodge out of the way of certain spells when a spell or effect would deal half of the damage on. Okay, so that's fine. Blur. Crown of Madness, whole person, invisibility. Invisibility will be quite good for him, right? So he can do sneak attack. Tasha's hideous laughter. So we'll give him invisibility. Right? Okay, cool. So let's save. And let's go ahead right. and do end the day. So let's go Don't back. from here I guess right so this one is done right so let's go what's inside opulent chest What's above here? Broken. Need to find another way. All right. So we go from here, I guess. Rose Morsa. My pack. Let's see. Walk in the way of dawn, for the thunder cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. All right, let's take this. Bazam, let's take that. Go from here. Who is this? Weary traveler. Rabbit. Who <laughs> there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too, finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Meet Elminster Ormar, a good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I, indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. Huh? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gail. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it? And a great kindness that would be. See, Gail, even in these barren parts, the art of hospitality begets inspired new works. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of... Uh, this way, then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. 
You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. All right. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. <laughs> mm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can. For swearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. All right. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. <laughs> you know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. <laughs> Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute, that most insidious of evils. The very purpose of my presence, in a roundabout sort of way, Mm. You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. All right. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale with its destruction it is mistress belief that only you can the orb precisely mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock as it were on the orb's rush to overpower you instead you will be able to Unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. All right. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings uh. me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress' promise. 
With that, I've said my sorry piece, and need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. All right. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the skies truven gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. All right. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion, be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. All right. Okay. Let's talk to him. First in my heart. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. The doddering act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps in existence. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. All right. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling. To realize how little of it one might have left. Of course, we offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Mm. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently. Once we know what we're truly up against. All right. Side. To the Shadow Curse Lands. Okay. Okay. 